All right, this is an earned value problem, and I've taken um, the problem from the textbook, the homework problem for Chapter 10, page 165, number 2. And I just reproduce the problem here, and I'm going to talk about solving it and the format for solving it so that you're going to try to be error-free. So here I've copied the activity and the cost in a table to create my own table over here. You could create it over here, but I think um, solving a problem may look better doing it here. So the first thing I do is budgeted cost of work performed. What did I actually do? And it says this stuff right here. So what it says A, it's 100% A, 100% B, 100% C, nothing about D, 100% E, half F. So those are my percentages. What I do then is use those percentages to find value. 100% of uh, 60 is 60, 50% uh, of 150 is 75. I add it up and I get the budgeted cost of work performed. How much did I earn? of work performed, I earned $475. Work scheduled, budgeted cost of work scheduled. What was I scheduled to earn? Well, three months, after three months, I earn, I should have finished A, B, C, D, E, and F. That's it. And all those 100%, and I get it from the values, the dollars there, And when I multiply it out and add it up, I was scheduled to earn $630. Then from the problem, the actual cost of work scheduled, how, how much have I expended? $490. Let's look at cost first, dollars. Well, we can say how much did we actually spend? We actually spent $490. What did we actually earn? We earned 475. We spent 490. We earned budgeted cost of work performed, or we earned 475. Is that good or bad? We spent more than we earned. Bad. So we're going to put 475 less 490, negative $15. To create a percent, we take the variation, the variance, and we have to figure out what do we divide it by. Well. In a perfect world, what would these numbers be? It'd be the actual cost of work performed. Would the budgeted cost would be the same as the actual cost? It both the four hundred and ninety dollars. So that's what I divide it by, and I get three percent, or negative three percent, or behind three percent. Not bad. Schedule. Let's look at the schedule. Well, we were scheduled to earn. $630, but we actually earned $475. Is that good or bad? That's bad. $475 less $630, $155. Now, what do I divide it by? What's the denominator? In a perfect world, how much would I earn? I'd earn $630. That's the schedule. So it's $155 divided by $630. So I'm behind schedule. 24%. So I'm high, behind schedule quite a bit, but I'm, my costs is what I said it would be. The important thing here is everything you everything is laid out. The formulas are laid out. The table's laid out. I can follow what I've done here. If I make a simple clerical mistake, it's easy to correct, easy to follow, and I get my answer. Doesn't take much longer to do the problem in an orderly, organized way that someone can go back and see what you've done. Earned value. There it goes.